everybody. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to set up a YouTube style interview set. And I have a surprise guest that I'd like to introduce you to. What's going on everybody? I'm so excited to be on National Channel today. We're gonna to talk about how to make a studio set inside my house just with my normal things and make it look real nice. Heck yeah, so just with the available space that we have and our two brains, hopefully we'll be able to create a really cool set and you'll be able to get some ideas on how to make your space better for you. So let's go inside let's go. and get this thing going. All right, so the first thing that I like to do when I get into a space before I really look at anything else is I like to make sure that everything in the space has a vibe. What vibe are we trying to create here? I think we're looking for like a warm, homey, but like clean looking vibe. Like I don't want it to feel messy or thrown together at all. So yeah, tip number one is figure out what vibe you're going for and try to achieve that and have everything you look at be through the lens of that look and that vibe. Before we get into our camera or anything else, we wanna just figure out what we have to work with in the space. So the first thing you wanna look at when you're looking at your space is lighting. And so if you'll notice here, we've got plenty of nice windows to work with. There's plenty of practical lamps as well as practical things on the tables and really great seating. So this space you could honestly shoot three or four different angles just with what you're looking at right here. The next thing you wanna do after you've looked at your lights, you've figured out your practical space, is look at the space through your camera. A lot of people just get stuck right here as they think, oh, I wish I had this lens or I wish I had that lens, but whatever lens is on your camera, just use that and start there. And if you do have a couple lenses, maybe you can experiment with both of them, but put something on your camera, stop worrying about your lens and just start figuring out what your space feels like through the camera. This whole setup is actually for a video on my channel where I'm gonna have Ashton on to talk about some of his favorite photos. And my whole channel is about highlighting uh, photos, highlighting photographers. So we need a space that is big enough to have two people in an interview. Okay, so I already know that there's a couple of frames in the room that I really, really like and can already see. And so over here in this corner, um, I really enjoy, um, this frame here, I think I need to actually even be back here because this is a 50 millimeter, so it's fairly zoomed in, but if I could have Dane right over here and then myself over here or vice versa, I think this would be a really nice frame. Uh, obviously there's a few things I wanna take care of, like getting the edge of that out of there, and I might even clean up some of the practicals, but that might be a really, really nice frame. Um, let's see what else we got, and so, Here's this corner, and I think that corner might actually look okay. I don't like it better than that first shot though. So we'll keep moving on. And I'm gonna check out maybe this corner. I know that Dane has done a video here. Um, it's a really cool scene for one person to shoot here, but I'm not sure that it works for two. The next thing I wanna do is kind of check out other rooms. And I know that this kitchen has a lot of really great bright light that's really natural. So I absolutely love this dining room space. I think it is so beautiful and all of the natural light that comes in from multiple directions is so, so nice. One thing I really like about this wall here is that there's this triple window with blinds and it's got a nice symmetrical feel to it as a backdrop. So if you had a couple subjects here, it would be a really, really symmetrical way to sort of draw attention to not just one, but two subjects. I've also seen Dane shoot kind of long like this with some of his art printed back here, um, which is a really nice practical touch when he's talking about photography, to have his photography printed as part of the backdrop. Really the main thing behind all of this is that you wanna make sure that whatever your scene looks like, it highlights the subject. So whether that's you talking, someone else talking, or even an object, you wanna make sure that the main thing is the main thing. So after looking around the house and seeing the different options or frames that we have to use, I think that the one that's just behind me is gonna be our best choice for a two-person interview style setup. But there's a few things I kinda of wanna change. The first thing that I wanna kinda of suggest about this frame here is that we need to shop the house. So we need to find things that we can use as practicals, even seating we could bring in. And so we're gonna do just that, and you'll see that here in just a minute. And then also I wanna move some stuff out of the frame. So I think we're gonna move the table out, we're gonna move the guitar kind of away, and we'll kind of just simplify the frame a little bit so that 
the people and the main subjects on the frame are really the thing that pops off the image. Sometimes you can have practical lights in your scene that are a little bit difficult and they may be overexposed or underexposed. And one of the best ways to combat this is to just go to your local hardware store or order it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna order one of these, but they're just these tiny little dimmers and you can plug it into any lamp and reduce the look of it so that it looks like it does in real life. All right, so it's been a couple hours and we just wrapped up the video shoot on Dane's channel uh, that highlighted some of the photography that I've done over the last year. And I wanted to just stop and give him a chance to talk about why and what and everything about his channel. Yeah, so I started my channel at the beginning of this year after really after Ashton texted me and was like, you should start a channel uh, because I sent him a bunch of photos and he was like, dude, if you just did one video a month where you highlighted some of your favorite photos, that would be amazing. And I was like, you know what? I think I can do that. This was a brand new video type where I'm highlighting other photographers and talking about their work. So Ashton was my first guest on that segment of my channel. Check that video out. I'll link it here at the end of this video, but also down in the description. And just so you know, this dude is like a baller photographer. So we're gonna Thanks, highlight dude. my photos on that video, but you should definitely check out his other videos where the photography is a little bit higher caliber. If you have any tips that we left out or just totally missed, I would love to hear them from you. So go down in the comments section and leave those to help out the community. And uh, if this video is helpful to you and you think it might be helpful for other people like you, definitely smash that like button so YouTube knows that. Mm -hmm. And for more content like this, subscribe, I will see you in the next one. Really great frame. <laughs> I'm sorry. In the, <laughs> the world. <laughs> Which part was funny? Nothing you said was funny. Uh, <laughs> you good now? Yeah. You sure? <laughs> I'm recovered. <laughs> Is this right? <laughs> I think we got it. You can't see the chairs. <laughs> so it just looks like you're freaking hungry. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my channel. It's been really fun hanging out with you today. So I'm gonna park my steed and go home. <laughs>